Hey, this is your girl, Nix, and I'm here with Dennis Williams of HBO. How you doing? Well, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You've been coming here for a while. I mean, obviously, you're bringing yeah. HBO. Yeah, well, HBO's been here for a while. So they've, HBO's been here longer than I've been at HBO. <laughs> HBO's been here longer than you've been alive. Let's be real. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, this is our 20th anniversary, you know, mm -hmm. um, and the festival itself is 21 years old. So we're really proud of the fact that from the very beginning, um, our brands were aligned. You know, our executives back then recognized what Jeff Friday and his entire team were aspiring to do, and, and we've been along for the ride, and we love it. Yes, you can see how the festival has grown, because now y'all have we have um, comedy wings that you all are sponsoring. Uh, how has that been? It's been great. You know, the, the, the beautiful thing about the partnership that we have with ABFF is that we've grown together, you know. Um, so while the short film competition, obviously storytelling is our bread and butter at HBO, it's mm -hmm. I think what we do better than anyone else. Yeah. Um, but, you know, over the years we've constantly tried to figure out how we can expand on this relationship and how we bring in more storytellers. Comedy obviously is one of the best art forms in terms of telling a story and having social commentary, um, and it's also perfectly aligned with our brand, uh, you know, so we're not new to the comedy game, and it made sense a couple years ago to kind of add that to our roster, um, but in addition to that, we also have had a number of our, our successful projects on HBO, our shows, um, kind of, you know, cut their teeth, so to speak, get, mm -hmm. get mixed in the sauce here at HBO before it kind of made its way to the zeitgeist to the to the rest of the world. So everything from, you know, from The Wire to True Blood back in the day and now this week we will be um, working uh, t tonight actually with a show called The Defiant Ones, which is a four hour documentary about Jimmy Iovine and Dr. Dre. Um, Issa Rae and her team will be here tomorrow, the cast of Insecure, which mm -hmm. is one of the hottest, hottest shows on television yeah. and especially on HBO. So, you know, we try to run the gamut and it's great. Wow. I mean, y'all have been doing some amazing things. So what exactly do you do? This? I mean, because, you know, I keep hearing you and stuff, you know, Dennis is my boss and now Dennis says this. But I want to know what exactly do you do and can we be an intern? OK, oh, you sound like my mother. What do what is your job? Um, so I'm, I'm senior vice president of what's cor called corporate affairs and corporate social responsibility, which I will say the shorthand of that is I have the best job in the world. So on the one hand, I work with our brand to figure out how we extend the HBO brand to our audiences. Um, so places like the American Black Film Festival, like how do we get in front of consumers in a way that's meaningful and authentic to them to connect them to our content? Um, so that's one side of the house. The other side of the house, CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility, um, is our company's way of showing that we are responsible citizens. We're all in this together. So when you see an issue or subject matter on our network that resonates with you and, your per and like deeply to your core, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it's domestic violence or police brutality or any of the other really pertinent matters that come through our content, it's my team's job to platform those things, to, to expand that conversation with the audiences. So um, we also get to give away money to nonprofit organizations, which is always great. Always <laughs> so, great. Hmm. Um, so we're responsible for the company's cash contributions to nonprofits to 501c3s. We run a really robust program uh, with our production team to place uh, diverse, uh, non-traditional PAs on our sets to make sure that we're doing our part to keep this industry as diverse as it, as it ought and should be, as it needs to be. Um, and then we sponsor probably over 30 different identity-based film festivals each year. So everything from w the work that you see us do at ABFF to Outfest, the nation's largest gay and lesbian film festival, to the New York Latino Film Festival, to the Pan-African Film Festival. Our job is to make sure that people from every single background, from every single community, that every voice feels like they have a place at the table. The table that we set at HBO means everyone is welcome. Wow, okay, so I guess you do have a job. Okay, a job. <laughs> just a little bit of job. <laughs> wow, so what else would you like to do here at ABFF? What else would you like to bring here? Oh my gosh, I'd like to see every single one of these talented filmmakers flourish. I want to I want to see them accepting awards and giving honor to God and thanking their mothers and <laughs> grandparents, uh, you know, uh, on stage and know that in some way we helped make that possible. I mean, I, I 
you know, I think I'm in the perfect industry. They're those people who, um, who shine best in front of the camera, right? You know, very, very talented people and, and actors and entertainers. But I think the, the machine is run by the people who are behind the camera. And so I, I like to think of my, myself and my team as part of that behind the camera crew that kind of helps push people toward their best, you know, help them maximize the potential that they have in their lives. Love it. Well, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me and telling us all about HBO's commitment to the American Black Film Festival. And thank you for being here. I think it's super important that we all understand that we're partners in this. You know, if a tree falls in the forest, does anyone hear it? Well, it, we'll hear it now because of you. So thank you for coming and, and being willing to hear the story and share the story with the world. Well, thank you. All right. Y'all stay tuned for more.